This is the Mercedes-Benz GLC, arguably one of the company's most important new model launches in years. Arriving in Australia on December 1 of this year, it will take on established medium SUV players like the BMW X3 and the Audi Q5, and Mercedes is confident that it can outsell them both. Let's take a closer look. Priced from 64500 the GLC sits in line with these German rivals, though in atypical fashion the entry variant is powered by a diesel engine. There will be three variants available at launch, the 220D and 250D diesels and the 250 petrol. All get standard permanent all-wheel drive and a 9-speed automatic transmission. The GLC is based on the C-Class and it shares that car's cut above fit and finish and uncluttered layout. The only potential bugbear is that floating infotainment screen that isn't to all tastes. All Australian versions will come loaded with equipment, with one highlight being the standard around view camera. Space and comfort in the rear is outstanding for the class. There's good headroom even with the sunroof and plenty of under thigh support. You also get rear vents and temperature controls. At 580 litres, expanding to 1600 litres with the seats folded flat, cargo space is bang on for the class. On road, the GLC feels like a high riding C-Class. Funny that. It's composed and quiet, with a commendable ride compliance even on its large 19 and 20 inch wheels, especially when the driving mode is set to comfort. There's some pitch through corners and the steering is light and lacking a little feel and feedback but the chassis feels well balanced. Set the mode to Sport or Sport Plus, and the GLC sits flat in mid-corner and the throttle response gets sharper. The pick of the engines is the smooth and refined petrol, though Mercedes reckons the entry-level 400Nm 220D will be the top seller. It's a refined and frugal engine, and not noticeably slower than the 500Nm 250D range topper. The GLC can be optioned with a special off-road package in tandem with air suspension. There probably won't be many takers, but those who do take up the option will get a range of clever automated assistance programs, as well as a rocking mode that increases the ground clearance. And as you can see, for a so-called soft roader, it's pretty handy off the beaten path as well. All told, the long overdue GLC is exactly what you might expect, given its C-Class origins. It's a refined and classy medium SUV that puts the X3 and the Q5 well and truly on notice. We'll give you a more detailed review once it arrives in Australia in December, but perhaps hold off on buying that X3 or Q5 until you've had a closer look yourself.